everyone welcome back to my channel <laughs> we tried yeah. today i am here with my sister lily which you haven't seen on my channel for a little bit and, and we patsu. also have patsu but patsu is not the main focus of this video what is this video about lily momo and appa mm -hmm. and what what are we going to be talking about about momo and appa um what they like and what they don't Mm -hmm. 15 facts about Appa and Momo, just like my other video about know. Patsu and Howl. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna let Patsu down. First, I'll tell you a little bit about how I got Appa and Momo. So I was scrolling at work on, <laughs> thank you. I was scrolling at work on Pet Finder and I saw two beautiful silver looking white ferrets and they were siblings, they were young, they were everything that I was looking for. <laughs> I'm wearing Patsu. You are wearing Patsu. He's a tropical. Yep, he's, he's a tropical ferret. He's wild. He's a wild ferret. Yeah. And I called the rescue that they were from. They were located an hour and a half from me, and I was allowed to leave work I early. Papa and Momo is Howell. No. <laughs> and I was allowed to leave work early uh, to go look at these ferrets. I drove all the way there. They were still available. But and then when I got there, someone else was looking at them. Someone else had went there to go try and adopt them. And I was like, oh no, I just drove all this way for no reason because they were going to adopt them. But and then they decided not to. Because so. they gave up on them. You well, still have a I know. I know. No, they didn't give up on them. They just thought that they wouldn't be a good fit for their current ferret that they had. So I was super thankful. I took that as a sign and I played with them for a couple minutes and I realized Bye. that they were perfect. No, Lily, you're going to mess up Potsy that way. <laughs> How old are they? Seven. Sold. Yeah, nice job. So I have 15 facts about both of my ferrets here. I'm gonna go grab Appa from his slumber so I can show you him. This is Appa. He is a very big boy. You see, hi. I just woke him up. Number one, Appa is a seven month old marked Roo ferret. That's what it's called. Marked R E W. So R E W stands for red eyed white. So he is white, but he has red eyes. They are very dark red, so you don't really notice it unless the light's shining on him. And if you see here, he is marked because he's not completely white. He has this marking down his back. Hence why I wanted to call him Appa because he kind of looks like Appa the flying bison on Avatar the Last Airbender with the arrow down his back. So that's my second fact. He is named after Appa from Avatar. Number three, Appa is a naturally big build. So he is a very, very large ferret for his age. He is giant. And for being a martial ferret, he is... Woo. Really long. He is a very big boy. He is my biggest ferret. He will probably always be the biggest boy. He is pretty heavy. He's like a small cat, pretty much. This is kind of... On the shirt, it kind of looks like Patsu is mm -hmm. the biggest right now. Number four, Appa loves to cuddle with both his siblings and people. So he's very personable, he loves his people, and he loves his family. Number five, Appa is a big pouncer. You know what that means, Lily? A really big jump. Yep, he loves to jump on us out of nowhere. He loves to sneak up on you and jump on your back. He's like... He's under the bed, and he likes whenever someone walks um, around him, like near the food, mm -hmm. he likes jumps on its leg. <laughs> Number six, Appa is really hard to hear. Hard of hearing. What does that yeah. mean? That means he is not complete, completely deaf, mm -hmm. but he's deaf. Mm -hmm. So he does have partial deafness, but he is extremely attentive and his other senses you can tell are heightened because of this. He is very, he always knows where I am in the room even though he can't hear me very well. Number seven, Appa loves all meat mm -hmm. except for rabbits. All my ferrets, they just do not like rabbit very much. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Number eight, Appa does not like when you wear socks. Yes, he does not like he when you wear socks. He used to um, bite you if you wear socks, but mm -hmm. not anymore. He would bite you until you took your socks off, and then he was like, okay, 
He's the boss of all feet socks. <laughs> Number nine, Appa is great at meeting new people. Yes. So he's not shy. He loves meeting new people. He loves meeting new friends. Number 10, Appa is completely litter trained. I don't think he has had one accident since I rescued him, which is really nice. Um, so he's had no problems with going potty where he's supposed to, and it's very helpful, <laughs> so I don't have to worry about him. Number 11, Appa loves to play with Howl. I want to say that's probably one of his favorite siblings. He loves roughhousing with Howl. Sometimes it'll get to be too much, and Appa's a little bit of a drama queen when it comes to playing rough. He'll ask for it, and then he'll get it, and then he'll be like, ah, stop, you're playing too rough with me, even though that's exactly what he asked for. Um, so in the last video, um, Patsu and Howl were having a rough house. Yeah, they were and on my the bed. bed mm -hmm. And the bed. Before we even got up and mm -hmm. Momo. Number 12, like Appa it. prefers to sleep on his own or with Momo. Um, but he does still love his siblings. He loves them all so much. And he loves them all equally. But he's just so big, he likes to have his own <laughs> space. <laughs> he's going in my ear. I'm going to put Appa down now. Okay, bye, Appa. Bye. Here, go put him over with Momo. Do you want to get Momo now? Not yet. It's not Momo's turn yet. Number 13. Up, no, Appa's real sister is Momo. Mm -hmm. Because they were born together. Yeah. we were born together, mm -hmm. and I was the last person to be born. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you're the youngest. <laughs> You're just like Appa and Momo. You're the youngest and I'm the oldest, so I'm Patsy. <laughs> Number 14. What is Appa's favorite place to be scratched? Two places. Belly mm -hmm. and back of the neck. Mm -hmm. Number 15. The last fact for Appa is he loves rolled up socks. Yeah. That's his favorite toy. Roll and, up socks. And long cat toys. Yeah, long cat toys like on the stick. They all really like those, I think, mm -hmm. the most. But I have Momo. <laughs> Momo loves the rainbow one, I'll show you it. Mm -hmm. She loves this one. She does love that one. <laughs> no, 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 she's sleeping. She's sleeping. All right, and this is my new ferret, Momo. So a little bit about my little girl, Momo. She's my first female ferret. Number one, Momo is a seven-month-old champagne roux ferret. So I she know. also has red eyes, um, but she is champagne. So I guess you could just say champagne with red eyes. Number two, Momo is completely 100% deaf. So she can't hear anything. We've tested this many times. She can't even hear us talking. Mm -mm. I don't think so. I mean, she may be able to a little bit, but most loud noises, they don't scare her or startle her at all. Number three, Momo is very independent. So she's re very independent. She you, likes to watch from the sidelines. She likes to watch the boys play on the side rather than being a part of the action. Number four, Momo loves to play either by herself or with a person. She loves to play with the long cat stick toy. She'll choose that over playing rough with her siblings since they all play super super rough. They're all teenage boys so. So she's the youngest. She is the youngest along with Appa. Number five, Momo is very adventurous. Yeah. If she can find, she's so small that she can crawl under things and get into them. Yeah, she can even fit inside of the um, trash can. Yeah, they can all fit inside the trash can. <laughs> okay. Number six, Momo loves to sleep. She, she does love to she sleep. She sleeps under the bed, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, Why do you think she sleeps so much? Because she's really fragile and she needs more sleep. And no. she's always well, tired. No, it's because she's deaf, so she doesn't get woken up with the door opening or any loud noises, so she's able to sleep throughout the night. She's able to sleep for hours on end uh, without being disturbed. So Number seven, Momo is very tiny. She is so petite, she's very lightweight. Um, she's just so tiny, and she's the tiniest little head ever. She's the cutest little thing in the whole wide world. And I have the tiniest neck. You do? Number eight, although she is tiny, she loves to eat. That's yeah. probably her most favorite thing ever. She's always eating. Whenever I hear someone eating, it's usually always her. She's always going in for seconds, continuing to eat until she's really full. Um, 
Number nine, because of her size, she's not a very good climber, and it's interesting to see her try and climb up onto my bed. It takes her a really long time to get up there, Me but she's too. very determined. On my bed, she does the same thing. Number 10, Momo is shy. When I first got her, she didn't really want to be around me, but she warmed up very quickly. She's just a little shy with new people at first. And um, she loves me. Which is pretty normal with a deaf ferret. Number 11, Momo has a sensitive stomach. If you remember in my other videos, I have mentioned before that she is allergic to hooved prey, so she can't eat beef, pork, venison, anything with hooves because uh, she'll just projectile vomit. So yeah, poultry all the way for her. So ferrets are basically um, allergic to everything that are like, everything that is like food that people eat. Yes, like, they're, not al they're not always nah, allergic, but they can't eat it. Yeah, they can't eat it. Someone, um. Here, let's put Momo down now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number 12, Momo. What is Momo named after? The creepy Momo. No! The creepy Momo too. No! No! Momo is named after the lemur in Avatar The Last Airbender. So we I have Appa and we have Momo. Number 13, Momo is completely potty trained as well. Both her and Appa very rarely have any accidents at all. Number 14, Momo loves to snuggle with her siblings. Although she doesn't really play with them that much, she loves to snuggle with them. And then last but not least, number, number 15. 15, Momo loves baths and swimming. Yes, she does. She loves baths. She I'll loves swimming. She is a water ferret. She loves taking baths. She loves play. wading in the water. She's yeah. my first ferret to actually enjoy baths. Both Patsu and Howl hate have, having water, you know, going into water on not their own terms. But they do, they like taking showers, but yeah, Momo because, loves baths. Because the last video, Patsu was going up and down my sprinkler. Mm-hmm, he All was. All the time. So he does, they do like water, it's just on their They own just terms. don't like waiting. They mm -hmm. just, they just, if they want to wait, if they wait, they just move on to the next activity. <laughs> so that was 15 facts about Appa and Momo, my new ferrets, my new additions to the family. Why don't you tell them how I showed you them, or how you met them? That we played a game, that which spirit that I'm holding. And I thought Momo and Appa were um, Howl. And then when my, um, my mom and my sister pointed at Howl in the cage, I was like, did you get a new spirit? And you were like, you should do it. Mm -hmm. Do you love them? Yes, of course I love them. Subscribe. Subscribe? Yeah, and hit the bell button. Hit the bell button? How do you know what that means? Because I... Are you saying that I don't watch YouTube? You do watch YouTube? Yes, of course I do. Mm -hmm. I'm a kid! You love YouTube too. I love YouTube too. Thank you so much for watching our video today. I, I, I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit more about my two new fuzzies. I wanted to wait a little bit to make this video and to share you more about them. Make because I wanted to learn more about them before making a video like this. You can make a lot of these and sell them. I uh, I don't think I'm allowed to. I don't you know. Can. A lot of people do it. Really? Yeah. Like who? YouTubers. YouTubers? Yeah. They, they sell, sell their merch? Yeah. I don't have merch. I don't think I will have merch. You will. The hug ferrets on it. Maybe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.